We're gonna cover what is engorgement, how it affects you, your baby, and your milk supply, and how to treat it. So let's dive right in. Engorgement can happen in one breast or in both. And you know that your breasts are engorged when they're just full of milk. They're gonna look very firm, just like this. They're gonna be very tender very tender and you might also feel some lumps in different areas on your breast now that we got that out of the way let's talk about how engorgement may affect your baby but before we move on to that i need to tell you what is going on inside your breast trust me it's gonna make way more sense like this so as you know high milk sits in the back of your breast and four milk sits up front when the breasts are engorged there is a lot more four milk than usual and there is a lot of milk waiting to be removed so babies usually have a hard time latching when the breasts are engorged because babies need a big mouthful to latch successfully or to get that deep latch. And when the breasts are engorged, they're very firm, so they end up latching on the nipple, which is going to be very painful for mom. And not only that, but if you don't correct this right away, they might start to reject the breast. Remember what I said about the breast having so much milk waiting to come out and a lot of poor milk? Okay, so when babies latch, it's like opening the water faucet on high. There is so much milk waiting to come out that it actually comes out with a lot of pressure and babies cannot keep up with the flow. They start gulping and swallowing a lot of gas. Not only that, but a lot of poor milk can make babies have green poop. If you know that you have engorgement, you have to treat it as soon as possible because engorgement is the last step before mastitis. It is very painful, uncomfortable, and is one of the reasons why a lot of moms quit breastfeeding overall. Not only that, but engorgement sends signals to your brain to slow down on your milk production because your body believes that your baby doesn't need that much milk. Okay, now let's talk about how to cure engorgement. Remember I told you that babies have a hard time latching when the breasts are engorged? It is recommended that you remove some milk right before you feed your baby, whether it's by pumping or hand expression, but not until you empty the breast, instead until your breasts feel comfortable so that babies can have that deep latch. If you notice that your breasts are engorged and it's going to be a couple of hours before you breastfeed again, then it is recommended that you pump, but again, not until you empty the breast, but until you feel comfortable. Also, some cold compresses in between feedings might help and some warm compresses about two minutes before each feeding could also help. But I'm going to be 100% honest with you, I never did the cold or warm compresses, I just pumped until comfortable and I've gotten over a lot of engorgement. If you found this video helpful, please share it with a breastfeeding friend or a future breastfeeding friend, and I will see you on the next one. Bye-bye.